welcome to Tuner Tips by Totterbert. In front of us today, we have the Lido Color, model number Lee 500. This is a battery charger for nickel metal hydride, NICAD, and lithium ion batteries. I bought this off Amazon for $28 because I needed a charger that could charge a 14500 cell. I was looking around on the web and it kept saying to charge that battery at a low charge rate, something preferably around 250 to 300. Then I started shopping for chargers, and holy cow, if you guys ever shop for a charger for, for lithium batteries, it's crazy. There's so many different types. So many, it's, it's, Some are detection chargers, some don't have displays, some have fancy displays, some are you know $10 and some are $50. So which one do you get? Well, I did some research, went on a few forums, and found this one recommended quite often. And there's reasons why, and it's because it's simple, and it lets you control the current from 300, 500, 700 to one amp, and that's what I wanted. I didn't need a one and a half amp or two amp charger or three amp charger as of yet. So I went with this one because I'm pretty happy because I needed something for my radios too. Because I have 18650 cells that go in my radios and I also have my normal nickel metal hydride batteries like my Eneloops and my different batteries there. So here's the box, pretty simple, kind of look at those bullet points. I'm not gonna really talk about them, it's pretty simple stuff. Most chargers have all these things. Give you an idea. There you go. Charging slots. And we'll talk about this when we open it up to give you an idea of what's going on in here. On the back has technical data. Do a quick little shot of that. Shows you the different charge rates, voltage rates it uses, and discharge rate. And it also has a USB output as a power bank, which is really cool. And there's the different types of batteries it can charge. All right, so that's the box. Go ahead and set that aside. First thing they give you in the box is nice. It's the 12 volt adapter. Yes, this thing runs on 12 volts, so you can go mobile with it. The car, RV, motorhome. It's just a good setup to have. I'm glad that it's 12 volts and it has this with it. Not bad. Next we have, well, actually we have the AC adapter, I forgot. The AC adapter. So you don't need to buy anything special. You don't need a USB hub, nothing like that. This comes with it because it gives us 12 volts, 2 amp output. Plenty for this charger. Okay, next we have the manual, which is Chinese and then English. So we got to figure out where we're at. I think we're Chinese. <laughs> Interesting there. Okay, here's the English part. And it goes through the basics of the charger, which I will try to go over with you. Let's kind of flip it through here so you get a general idea. If I miss something, you can pause and read this stuff if you have to. So there we go. All right, so let's get to the charger. Here it is, the Lido Kala Engineer <laughs> Lee 500. Engineer, that's the first time I saw that. All right, um, so let's go over dimensions. This is three and three quarter inches across, six and a half inches high, and a depth of one and a half inches. Give you a little size comparison. I always keep a little CC pocket by me. You guys know I'm a radio enthusiast. It's my channel mainly. Um, there you go. Do I have a flashlight around here? I think I do. For those who are in the flashlights. <laughs> there we go, my MicroStream. AAA powered flashlight, there you go. Okay, for size. And of course, then I have a deck of cards handy, always to give you a general idea how big this is compared to a deck of cards. Because you might want to know. There you are. All right, so let's go over features of this charger. Right away, you can see it's a simple black plastic. Um, pretty durable, I would imagine. Um, I didn't really can't test the durability. I'm not going to start dropping or throwing it around. Um, you can see how it's shaped along the sides here. Okay, on top here, it says Lido Kala. It looks like there's venting here, but there is. I don't think there's any kind of uh, discharge resistor there. I think it's all in the front here. That's where I know it's most of the heat coming from. Um, here we have four selectable bays. Um, they have a nice spring here, which is nice even tension all the way across. It has a premium feel to that. Um, I've had other chargers where this is like kind of sticks a little bit, but this one's nice and smooth, and they're all like that, which is great. And it'll accommodate those battery types I showed you on the box. On the front here, we have four buttons. This lets you toggle between each bank, so you can see the different information for each bank that's charging or going through testing modes. Here we have mode select. You have three modes. You have a normal charge mode. You have a uh, fast test mode and a normal test mode. Over here, we can select our current from 300 
to 500 to 700 to one full amp, which is really nice. Um, of course, the 300 is milliamp hours to give you an idea before you get to the one full amp. Uh, this is really nice to have because I needed that charger to charge that one battery to lower amperage. And we'll plug this in and show you in a second how that works. On the back here, we have the inputs, DC input of 12 volts, output of 5 volts. This USB uh, is limited to a one amp output when you have 18650 cell installed. Now I think it's recommended two or three, so you have a nice power bank. So when you go mobile, you have a power source with the batteries. So it's a power bank. But that was pretty awesome. On the back here, get some information, talking about the charge rates, talking about what it's compatible with. Uh, so pretty simple stuff there. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in and show you how this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and reach over here. And then plug it into the back here. Okay, so it's going to say no when there's nothing in it. It's kind of a nice backlit screen. Not necessary, but it's there in the dark <laughs> if you need it. So I have some different battery types, and I'll bring those out. Okay, so I have a little AAA nickel metal hydride battery. I have a AA nickel metal hydride battery. I have a 14500 cell I was telling you about for my special flashlight that can handle this voltage. This is 900 milliamp hour, 3.7 volts. And then I have an unbranded 18650 cell that came out of a cheap shortwave radio that I had. So it gives you an idea there. So let's get started. Um, so to so get charging, you just take the battery and put it in. It automatically uh, start charging at 500 milliamp hours. So you have eight seconds to make a decision to change the current and to change the mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on a we call a fast test. So it's going to tell you what's going on here. So I'm going to change that mode and we're going to go to fast test. And I'm going to change the current over here to 300 milliamp hours. And it's going to show me the voltage. And it's not going to give me the capacity yet until the test is over. And it's going to give me elapsed time and internal resistance. So there you go. Let's keep going. Let's keep adding batteries. Um, this energizer, let's see. Well, let's see, I have another one here. Same thing. This one's empty, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to charge this one. So I'm going to put this in. Like I said, again, if you don't select the charge current, it'll automatically default to 500 milliamp hours, which is fairly safe for most cells. So right now it's in charge mode. It's going to after it's waiting. So I'm going to change it to 300 just because I'm here at the controls. And it's going to start charging. And when it does that, you can tell what bank you're on because it has a circle and two there. It's going to give us our voltage, and then right here it's capacity, and that'll start changing as time goes on, and our lapse time there, and of course internal resistance again. All right, next we'll put in the 18650, and this is that uh, unbranded lithium. No idea uh, what capacity it is. I don't have an idea if it's protected or not. It looks like it could be, but I don't feel, usually there's like a little a raised bar or something, but I don't see that. We'll give it a shot. Let's go ahead and put it in there. You gotta bring that all the way back and you have to actually kind of push to get that to fit in there nice and tight. Okay, so that one's gonna come up. It automatically knows it's a lithium battery. So it's gonna go into charge mode and we'll leave it at a half amp. All right, and for the last one here, the 14500, just to show you can do these different types, I'm gonna do a normal test on this one. So I'll put this battery in. I noticed this one here, you got, it's a little tricky sometimes to get to recognize. There we go. So now we're on bank four. We're going to change the mode. We get eight seconds to do this. We're going to do a normal test mode. And then we're going to change the current to 300. Now, a normal test, I don't know if I told you, what it does is it charges the battery fully, then it discharges, then it charges it full again, and then it gives you a capacity given. On the quick test, what it does is it discharges first, then charges, and gives you capacity. So it does one less step, giving you the uh, the quick result. Uh, most people probably use a normal test if you have the time. And then of course you can switch between the banks to see what's happening. There's our 18650, there's information there. There's our AA powered, uh, AA uh, nickel metal hydride battery. And, it's, and what's going on there, it's voltage and it's current and time elapsed. And over here, our AAA doing its test, its fast test. 
pretty neat setup. I'm really liking this. I think it's amazing. Um, let's see what else we have to go over. Anything's fun? So, if, okay, so the discharge cycle, just so you know, um, it was in the box. I think it was in the paperwork also. Um, it, if you're at uh, charging at 300 or 500 uh, milliamp hours, it will discharge at 250 milliamp hours. If you're charging the battery at 700 milliamp hours to one amp, it'll discharge at 500 milliamp hours. So to give you an idea, it changes with the charge rate you select. It's good to know. All right, so anything else on here? No, it's pretty simple. Eight seconds to change the mode, three different modes, and uh, yeah, that USB power bank mode, which I think is a great feature. So if you had like three or four of these 18650s and they're all charged up and you're, they're in your power, you know, they're in your charger and you're on the go and you, you want to take them with you uh, to campsite, you can use this as your power bank too, which I think is fantastic. So there it is, the Lido Kala Engineer Lee 500. Hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Tuner Tips. This charger is a really cool charger. Thought I'd give it to your, bring it to your attentions. I'll link below for this from Amazon and then of course from eBay too, because on eBay you can get a better deal. I think around 20, 22 bucks. And, uh, but it takes about a month to get it. I went from Amazon, so I get it tomorrow, you know, next day, which was nice. Uh, but you can get, you know, different ways if you want to save some money. I saw it there from China. But if you have a problem from China, it's hard to return. If you buy it from Amazon, it's pretty easy. You know, they just give you a box and you ship it back in one day, <laughs> which is really great. So there it is. Um, if you want to stay tuned to these tuner tips, just hit the subscribe button, the bell icon. I'll be reviewing more chargers because I do have a feeling that people are going to want to see chargers that handle bigger batteries. There's ones that handle wider batteries like C's and D's, and I'll get into that one too. And some might want to see the fancier ones that have all the different, you know, fancy screens and different color stuff. I just want something utilitarian and get the job done, and this one has, so pretty happy with it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And if you have any comments, if you have this charger, make sure to comment below. Tell me what you think about it. It was something you'd pick up. Do you like the flexibility of this? I think it's a perfect pickup. Uh, if you if you have a lot of rechargeable cells and you're a flashlight lover like me and a radio lover, you know, this is something to have, I think, on any radio bench. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.